So today, uh, for standard nine, the second experiment that we are going to do is to study the flower. Okay, to study a flower of an angiosperm, and uh, the flower that we are taking today is Hibiscus rosa sinensis. You know, this commonly called the shoe flower plant, and most of you have seen in Hindi we call it arul. And uh, this flower you have to study externally also and some parts internally. So you can see this flower is a solitary flower because it remains alone and it has a short stalk here this is called the pedicel. Below it you can find there are small uh, green color structures you know these are called the bracts. So if the bract is present we call it a bracteate. Just above the bract you have the green color sepals. You know the sepals are fused together. I am showing you. This is the actually the sepal. They will they are green in color. You can see here the sepals are fused. And this, if the sepals are fused, we call it gamosepalus. And if they are free, we call it polysepalus. So here, since the sepals are free, we call it gamosepalus sepals. And we have five petals. You can see the petals all red in color but all are free so if the petals are free we call it the petals are polypetalous p o l y p e t a l o u s so you know this is these are the terms you have to know when we define the flower and here we have the stamen you know this uh, the stamen is forming a staminal tube like this and this staminal tube is covering the stigma and the style which runs through the center of this uh, staminal tube so, if the staminal tubes are fused together, you can see these are the tips of the anther lobes and the tips of the anther lobes, you know, they are having a common filament which is surrounding the style. So, if it is a common tube which is surrounding the style, then we call it a monodelphous stamen. Stamens are usually free. I will show you in a typical flower, but here it is little bit uniqueness is that the staminal tube forms a tube-like structure and this tube-like structure is called a monodelphous stamen. And when we dissect it, I'll show you after dissecting that the style and the ovary is there. Here we have an ovary which is a bicarpillary, uh, sorry, it's a pentacarpillary ovary. Five carpels are there with many seeds. You can see the stigma is also a pentafid stigma. There are five, you know, crimson color tips of the stigma is there. I'll show you. Similarly, as the stigmas are five, here the carpels are also five. We will come to that later on. Now, what are the, so you write like this, to study the flower, the materials required is a razor, a needle, a dissecting microscope, a slide. Dissecting microscope I have showed you earlier also. Dissecting microscope is to see the anther lobes or you have to see the chambers of the ovary. There we use the dissecting microscopes. So, you have to write about this flower, when you write about the procedure, you write that we have taken, a flower is taken and the external characteristics are studied. So, you are there you write the characteristic of the flower, it is a solitary flower, it is uh, gamosepalous, it is polysepalous, pentacarpillary, monodelphous stamens, bracteate, presence of green sepals, all these characteristics you will find in your practical book, it is written. So you write those in order and here you don't have to write any precautions uh, of this experiment because you are studying just a flower. So this is uh, how you write. Now I will show you the, the how the stigma and the style inside. You can see this is the monodel first time and if you peel off the outer part, see this is, I am peeling off the, uh, what you call the staminal tube, what we call the monodel first time and inside you can see. So this is the, see this is actually the green, white color you can see, this is the style actually which is run, which runs through the center of this tube. So the, the, after pollination the pollen grain travels through this style and ultimately reaches the base of the thalamus, you can see this is the thalamus 
and over the thalamus you can see the ovary is there okay so the ovary is this uh, this particular structure you can see the remaining of the style is on top of it and if you take a section of this ovary okay if you take a section of thin section of the ovary and put it over a slide and see it in the microscope then you can see that there is a pentacarpillary ovary so the ovary will look like this so there will be five chambers one two three four five and you will find the ovules are located in the center so this is uh, what you see in the flower and when you draw in your practical notebook this uh, this is the type of flower which you show this is the pedicel the thalamus this is the gynosium over the style and the stigma this is the anther anther lobe this is the petal and the sepal of course this is not a uh, typical hibiscus rosa sinensis this is a typical flower structure so all that you have to write in the practical the second practical you will write all according to the heading as i told you experiment one number two study of a flower and you can refer to the book so thank you very much and stay safe and stay well